Hey guys, Radio Dave here for another quick episode of Mind of the Artist, and I'm joined by two sick dudes who I've been following for a while, local Alberta guys, uh, well not quite so local, they're a bit more southern than I am, but I'm talking to Control Room, Paul and Caleb from Control Room, how you guys doing man, so glad to have you guys on the show today. Hey Dave, hey. how you doing buddy? I'm fantastic, man I gotta, I gotta tell you, uh, pick up the mic, I just want to get right into it right away, is a, is a s- absolute sick track, I've heard a lot of the stuff you guys have done over the last couple years, this one might be my favorite. Man. Well, thank you so much. Uh, first off, second off, yeah, we feel kind of the same, honestly. Um, yeah, this is uh, kind of the culmination of where we kind of wanted to take our sound a little yep. bit, pushing a bit more bass house. Um, it's a bit harder to sign these days, but we're really glad that we got on like such a label like uh, like Generation Hex on Hexagon there. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a huge get, man. That's uh, well done on that. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, they've been awesome to work with. This is our third release with them. Uh, and yeah, I, I think I think with this label, like this is where we've got to push our sound that we want like the most into these songs, which is really nice. Right, because you guys have done a few collabs, uh, official releases up to this point. So is this more the sound you guys is just control room or? Uh... Yeah, I would say so. I think you know the lockdown song we did with Tommy. I think is is kind of in the ballpark of where how we want the sound to be. I think right now the last couple tracks and definitely the ones next are going to be our sound i feel like we're getting pretty close to what we want to be doing awesome that sounds good so how does that uh how did you guys figure that formula out is that uh, half caleb half paul what, what are you guys doing when you're in the studio trying to figure that sound out it's really uh, yeah it is like a, a blend of tastes for sure i mean we both approach it from very different angles it's kind of funny how polar opposite me and paul can be so oh really yeah, there'll be an idea here and then big disagreement about just about every idea. And then, and then we come. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, when you look at the big picture of who we are as people, I mean, we're pretty similar. We're, 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 we grew up in small towns that are pretty close to one another in the big picture. We're into similar things. We've got industry jobs. We've got all that in common. But when it comes down to, you know, like the writing the music, we, we have very different perspectives at times. And uh, I think we're in a really, I'm happy where we are. We have, yeah. We're in a good place of being able to communicate. It's like we're uh, we're in a relationship uh, in a yeah. way. It's a marriage. <laughs> it's a marriage. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so we're at, we took us a while to figure out the, the communication thing, but I think we're in a good spot. That's good. Yeah, you got to find someone that's got the chemistry you can work with, but a chemistry that's that passionate can also be pretty volatile sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 true. But you know, we've kind of worked our way through it, and uh, nothing the other says is surprising. I guess. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, laughs> like just with the with our ability to disagree, it's probably like our, our biggest asset, and yeah, and uh, how we're gonna probably push forward uh, the most is is by kind of the way we meet in the middle, and so you guys can disagree and not take it personally. Exactly. Find different sides. It's good to find that separation between. Uh, business and friendship yeah yeah so how did uh you guys have been djing for how long how'd you guys get started well i i would say i think it's like 2019 really was the first year and uh caleb started it actually caleb yeah we we didn't really do anything in 2019 um we dj i kind of just uh i always found like things that i wanted to try and then so i'd just buy some random stuff and so i bought some yamaha hs8 speakers and downloaded uh ableton 10 at the time i think okay and then i was kind of just blasting music in my room while we were roommates working together and kind of just partying and whatever yeah 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 way up north and then uh paul came into my room and said hey what are you doing with all these loud music and these massive speakers <laughs> and uh <laughs> and he was like well shit i've always had like a big soundcloud playlist and stuff and always dj'd and then and then he bought he bought a dj controller like a serato yeah and then uh i kind of had like this little music production and then we had the dj thing and then we kind of brought it together and and it kind of just took off from there so did you guys start producing first or djing first or was it both at the kind same of, time kind of thing kind of at the same time i wouldn't yeah. say we really started like dj djing until like 21 probably. well it was it was uh due to COVID as well right we COVID happened right. as well right but i did a lot for a lot of people it yeah. did yeah i'd say our first like really good show shout out james diebold and rob wubs in the woods he booked us with a like he booked us at like midnight and we hadn't really played really yet. we played it like was, a couple times on cd it was 12 30 on saturday night at a festival was our first gig <laughs> yeah it's not bad for a first gig 
yeah like right before defunct it was it was <laughs> yeah it was it was such a blessing and and it paid off i, I think i think we we kind of we did we definitely showed up for it like we did yeah it went well for sure we, yeah we did that part. i'll tell you a story the week or two before that either way right before actually we drove from vancouver we played uh with i don't know if you heard of kumo productions but they crushed it they were they were new fairly new since then and we played like a live stream and it was the first time playing on cdjs it was like on a helipad everything was recorded like legit on a helipad like and uh had cool cars and cool stuff car. <laughs> we bombed it and then uh we bombed it real bad uh just couldn't see the cdjs mixing oh. with that it was just oh yeah yeah well we didn't know what we were doing we were like oh cdjs you kind of just yeah, yeah. top screen you're good <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's a bit different then we went to wubs in the woods so yeah we're, we're, we practiced in between <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, it was we, good we put in the time everybody good. has those shows man look at grimes <laughs> that's crazy actually i can't believe that how do you not like prep your tracks oh man i, I was so mad when i saw it why this is what happens when you put producers up they can't dj yeah. but anyway <laughs> whatever i don't want to badmouth grimes too much but uh so let's talk about you guys are djing you guys are producing what's the first song you guys put out was it a collab the first song we put out was a song called uh a, <laughs> it was called bad bitch <laughs> and, uh, there's a funny story behind that one uh well i don't know if you want to say the story but it's, yeah. up, it's up to you well, so we we had kind of our method we were like all, all these ideas and stuff we're like okay we're gonna promote the song and and ask for people to buy it on beatport because we're releasing it officially and stuff yeah. like okay so we really want to get beatport buys um this was our big idea there so i had asked some friends and family my my girlfriend at the time uh her religious family and i i <laughs> blank on the idea of what the lyrics of the song were yeah and uh was quite <laughs> the, the lyrics i'll just say the lyrics are like bad bitch only fucks if she's wet or something like that <laughs> just ridiculous. <laughs> just ridiculous and and the most religious family possible like the sweetest angels and yeah i asked them to buy my song on beatport and they were very excited and that's incredible <laughs> they how did that go over support the music i was uh, <laughs> making and yeah. how they were slightly disappointed in me. Yeah, I bet. Oh, that's so funny, though. But you don't think about it when you're just like, because when you're producing, like, the lyrics are almost secondhand. Like, I, I don't even hear them half the time. I'm just worried about, is that kick too loud? Is that is that uh, side chain working? I'm not even paying attention to the lyrics. Yeah, I think definitely then, and, like, like we're focused on the instrumental, right? Like, I think that's a natural thing. Yeah. I would say more so now we're, like, really focused on, like, the idea and we're, like, really looking more at the lyrics and, and that more now than we ever have. Been lucky to have some good mentors and, like, that's a lot of big thing we've been focusing on is the idea. Yeah. And so more so now. We would just kind of, like, if the, find a sample, throw it in, it sounds good, and then kind of... Uh, at that time, it's, like... Oh, it's, it a, didn't it's a song that's actually done? Okay, well, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> that's the main thing then. Yeah. Can't let it stop you from writing music, finishing music. I always yeah. preach that to people that... That's the, that's the biggest hurdle, man. No, Everybody makes music, but nobody can finish it. Uh, so, uh, have you had a chance to play, pick up the mic out anywhere? What's the response it's got so far? I imagine it's been fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's definitely a, a good tune for uh, some big speakers. Uh, the rolling <laughs> yeah. bass line of the drop like kind of catches people off, and, and I think it's just really clean and, and comes out really good on big subs. And we've played it out lots, <laughs> so yeah. we had this in the bank for what year and a half. Two yeah, years? we finished it uh about a year ago so oh really had, yeah it's we've had it done for like a year so, so what's been, uh what was the weight on getting it out was it uh, the label holding on to it for too long or uh no no i think i it, we don't actually pitch our music as much as you might think so we kind of have things set like six months in advance and then so it kind of was a lag on when it was time to okay we need to sign pick up the mic yeah we had sent it out to a lot of our BG Bowl music, labels and stuff. music, et cetera, like guys like that. And uh, it didn't work out with them. So waited a little bit and then we started pitching again and Hexagon picked it up pretty quick. So awesome. It it's it's tough with the song, I think, when you when you think it has like when you think it belongs somewhere, right? And yeah. so you sit there and then you don't get the response you want. It, it's kinda like, Okay, well, you gotta kinda rethink some things. Um and then I, I think 
I think more importantly now, like we're 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 kind of more in the driver's seat on those options and stuff where we can we can kind of say, well, we know where it's supposed to be, so yeah. this is where it's going to end up somehow, whether we work towards it or not. And and I think uh, I think that's that's good for us. And I, I think that's how pick up the mic kind of end up on Hexagon. It was just it was just the right song, the right place. Awesome, right place, right time. Yeah, exactly. So if pick up the mic was finished, what, a, a year, a year and a half ago? Yeah. So how has your sound evolved in that year and a half? I mean, that's a long time in, in terms of producing. Yeah, well, well, like the next song we're going to put out, we wrote before that one. <laughs> a, a lot. But I, that just kind of shows you like, like we've been cultivating this for a long time and kind of yeah. like people are seeing now is like us like in a year a year ago in a way and like the work we put in a year ago and the thinking and the brainstorming and the figuring the sound out we it took us a year to like get that out yeah know? yeah so there's a lot more music to come and it's just it's now that these songs are coming out and they're doing well and they're getting signed it's like okay we can kind of like do that more so it's kind of like crack pick up the mic again and then write the next pick up the mic maybe right yeah. i got you what uh some shows you guys got coming up who's gonna get to hear those uh those new yeah. songs yeah so next two shows uh the next one is may 9th in calgary it's a 360 show um we got a lot of homies a lot of all the yeah, homies so Tommy's what thomas, thomas anthony will be headlining oh we, we should freddie J too which is huge love seeing him playing calgary he's got a huge fan base here and some homies jacks and nightshade so it's uh it's, good all, it's all good friends of ours so that's it's gonna be a lot of fun and i think uh we'll we'll get to kind of show how much fun that'll be at the yeah show. yeah that's a stacked lineup that's pretty good yeah the homies everyone's gonna be going in no not holding back so it'll be a good set it's at uh commonwealth bar and stage uh and then the next one is the weekend after that i think it's the 18th may may 18th in edmonton um it's with ubk it's uh we're doing garden party with case the mondays and thomas anthony in edmonton so that's nice do you guys work with tommy a lot yeah we do uh just kind of how like we've been hang like best friends hanging out and writing music together and going places together. that's kind of how it works when you yeah it's good to have someone to like attack stuff with you know what i mean it's like yeah 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 he's a good dude hey, i'm going to this festival meet some people or something you guys want to come and then you know you go yeah do Tommy stuff is together great, and, dude. yeah yeah great yeah exactly what's your guys's inspiration for sound i mean like who who are you trying to sound like <laughs> well, artists it's it, it's really easy it's always been the same since day one it's, it's like yeah. doctor, abstract issue. oh yeah 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 I would so, say. yeah and then <laughs> yeah that's, i would agree um those guys for sure um more and then like kind of like now we're listening more to like the the new guys like ship they're not new but like kind of the n next line after them you know the new yep. up and comers they're past that now but you know what i'm trying to say uh yeah. like shipwreck uh right Aries now yeah those guys are like no thanks like those three and maybe a couple others but those guys are really like we're like kind of like similar ages they were all duos we're all kind of making like yeah. cool bass house so like those guys we're looking at all the time but not just for like more for branding because they're like doing they're the younger generation doing the tiktoks and shit you know yeah yeah they, not that bg dr fresh and half track don't do that but it's like it's a different vibe than they're like the og brands that they have yeah so we're generation follow that mold you know and it's definitely like it's nice to see uh people like uh it, it seems like like the big big names right now like i'll make a like, kind of a very generic sound in like tech house and stuff and yeah we might not want to make like tech house at the end of the day those guys we just mentioned like they're making tech house in very unique and like like it's like very individual ways like like you can tell they're putting their own brand and style on it and it's not it's not really matching like just that generic top 40 beat port stuff so yep. it's like it's it's really it's really cool to to see that they're having success while doing that that's huge that's that's what it takes nowadays oh man a couple of weeks ago i was going through the Picking through the top 100 of uh, Beatport and uh, 10 out of 12 songs had the same fucking synth in it. It was yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. But uh, what I want to say about that is I love top 100 Beatport, okay, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love top 100 Beatport. There's no question. It's, it's popular for a reason. It's like, it's, like, it's like top 40 dance or top 40 pop music. Like, it's yeah. popular for a reason. 
You got to find the gems, but that's in there. You so what, where yeah, are you guys on there now? Oh yeah, we're we're, we're top. <laughs> we're top. We're yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Shit <laughs> 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 music. Yeah, <laughs> no. Just sounds like everything else, unfortunately. Uh, oh, I think man. we're at forty something in there. Uh, that's right. huge, man. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the epic support we've gotten from Bport. Shout out Bport. Um, they've been putting us in all the that picks and charts and well, hexagon found a huge help for, with for that sure he hexagon they they've been awesome to work with and um but yeah bport's been putting us in front of a lot of eyes so you guys get much uh, dj support on this one um less i would say i mean right now it's not bad we're getting I, i'd have to look at the unique supports it's not it's not bad like it's getting bought at bport a bunch right so yeah yeah gonna be decent but from the guys we'd send guys and girls we send promos to not as much like it's it's tough to get an original played uh real i find from like yeah. from who we hope that would play it yeah. Yeah. like we're gonna get spins on like a remix like remixes like fresh is playing our remixes uh jix has been playing some of our remixes but yeah not not yet but Hopefully soon. <laughs> it's coming for sure, man. The amount of progress you guys have made in just a few years, like, uh, yeah, you'll be a household name next year for sure. Then they'll be craving your originals. I hope so. Appreciate Thank it, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Oh, it's coming, man. Don't you worry. So, what's ahead for a control room? What are we looking at in the future? Um, we have. Uh, well, we're still in, in pick up the mic land right now. Yeah. We're gonna keep keep pumping that and, and doing the marketing. Um, but then soon. -ish. Well, it's gonna be summer. Soonish, it's gonna yeah. be more music. Yeah, more music, more content. And us being dorks on on the internet. Love uh, it. More shows. Yeah, we we got some great bookings coming up this summer. Um, playing right through till. Shouldn't say any dates. I don't want to give anything away. But we're yeah. playing. <laughs> we got gigs. Yeah. We got gigs and music. Lots Festival of gigs and music. Festival season coming up, yeah. and and it's so fun. Like in, in Western Canada, the the scene is is just so fun. Like with it's crazy festivals everyone everyone finally gets outside there's a lot of energy for it yeah yeah you get to hang with all the homies and so if you're around out and about in anywhere you know like for sure shambla we're gonna be at shambla come see us at shambla come there you go it. yeah will you be you there guys are... oh oh i thought you were talking to dave here if he's gonna be there to anybody everybody yeah whoever yeah, whoever's bro. listening and watching <laughs> Come flag the guys down and let them know how much you like. Pick up the mic. Oh, there you go. All right, boys. Well, fuck. It was so good to talk to you guys today. I really appreciate your time. Paul, Caleb, is there anything else you guys want to talk about or plug before we say goodbye? Uh, I think we're good. I, I just want to say we really appreciate you having us on. It's nice yeah. to have someone reach out and want to talk. And we're always down. Anytime, guys. Always. Re you got to support the real ones. That's how it goes. Hey, man. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. Don't forget to grab, pick up the mic on Beatport everywhere right now. Hexagon. What's the sub label? Generation X. Generation X. Go grab it. My boys, Paul and Caleb, control room. Check them out. Thanks, bro. Thank you.